In this video, we're going to cover the EX35, the EX37, the FX35, the FX50, the QX50, and the QX70. All vehicles must be push button start, and we are using the EX35 in the demo at the end of the video. However, all vehicles listed will have the same exact operation. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the door trim. You simply grab the back of it here and you lift straight up. And if you've never taken it off before, it might be kind of difficult to pop up, but there are no screws, it just pops right up. So set this aside in a safe place. The next thing we're gonna do is pop off the kick panel plate here. There is a plastic nut right up here against the firewall, so go ahead and just turn that counterclockwise, it'll pop off. Grab this panel and it will pull straight out towards the center console. There are two clips on it that you can see, and these are just push clips. One of our new 3HT plug and play kits. There are no wires to cut or splice in the vehicle whatsoever. And this is not a two stage programming uh, kit, which means you install this in the car, program the module to the vehicle, which takes about 15 seconds, and your remote start will work immediately. These are the BCM connectors. There's a green one, a black one. There's a gray connector here. This right here will go into this connector on the harness if required. Not all applications and vehicles require this connector. You'll have a ground pigtail here, which connects to a factory 10 millimeter bolt so you don't have to screw into your car. There's gonna be a couple two pin jumpers here. Um, refer to the installation guide for uh, proper connection there. We have a relay chip with a fuse in it and this will plug right into there. All this is in the installation guide. I'm just going over uh, some quick details for it. The BCM is located down in the passenger kick panel. You're gonna use the black connector, which is right here, and you're gonna use the green connector, which is back here. So go ahead and unplug these two connectors. And once you have them unplugged, go ahead and connect them to our T-harness. So it's gonna look just like this. The remaining ends of our T-harness are going to plug right back into the BCM. So just go ahead and fold it over and you're gonna plug it straight back in. Check the chart on the back of the installation guide. If your vehicle year is highlighted in a gray box, then you have to use the gray connector. This plugs in right here at the BCM as well. So how this works is you're gonna take the two pin jumper here, you're gonna disconnect the one that was on the harness, you're gonna plug this one in, and then install this right here at the BCM just like um, we did with the green and the black one. Next, what we're gonna do is connect our main ground input here. There's a 10 millimeter bolt, so go ahead and grab your 10 millimeter socket. You simply take the bolt out, put the ring terminal on and tighten it back up. The last thing that we need to do is take the relay chip with a fuse on it that looks like this and you're going to plug it right into the harness and make sure it clicks in place and you are now ready to program the module. Programming of the module is very simple. It takes about 30 seconds. You're going to hit the unlock on the key you're gonna wait for the orange light to start blinking on the remote start module. If it's already blinking, that's fine. Just go ahead and hit unlock. While the orange light's blinking, you're simply going to take the key, insert it into the key port like so, and you're going to press the brake pedal for 15 seconds or until the green light turns solid and then goes off on the remote start module. And there it went. Take the key out and we're gonna jump outside the car and give you a quick demo. All right guys, we got the uh, Infinity all wrapped up with our 3HT Plus kit. On the factory key fob, you're gonna hit the lock button three times. This is compatible with our smartphone module, so you can start it, stop it, lock it, unlock it, and GPS locate with the cell phone add-on. Uh, but today we're gonna demo this three lock start off of the OEM key fob. So simply tap, tap, tap. You're gonna give it a few seconds here, let the ignition turn on, and it'll fire right up. And once it's running, 
It'll run for 15 minutes, but when you're ready to go, you just hit the unlock button. Doors will unlock, you can get in. And as long as you have a key with you, you can simply press and release the brake pedal, press it again, pull it out of park, and away you go.